Everyone has heard a joke fall flat or seen a jump scare, the jump no one. Of all the genres, comedy and horror are arguably the most delicate. It takes a lifetime of practice to hone one's skill to the point that laughs and scares come easily, and accomplishing either in an anime is quite the feat. Myruko-chan is one such anime, funny and haunting, and upon completing it fans may well wonder where to turn for their next taste of horror or unexpected laugh. Taste may be subjective, but a handful of anime rise above the rest to become easy recommendations for fans. <laughs> Ghost hunting is a premise ripe with humorous potential, and while Ghost Hunt may not be a comedic anime, it's a horror story that delivers plenty of laughs along the way. First-year high school student Mai joins Shibaya Psychic Research and helps the organization research supernatural occurrences around Japan. The SPR's investigations are aided by Mai's latent psychic abilities, allowing the research team to confront and deal with a variety of specters. Its name may not be inventive, but its storytelling often is, making Ghost Hunt a great anime to experience when the goal is to pair laughter with the occasional shriek. There are many great anime and horror movies without jump scares, but jump scares are exactly what makes Yami Shibai great. Its rough art style brings to mind paper dolls and children's doodles, which only makes the scares that much more disconcerting. Told as a series of short stories, Yami Shibai embraces horror's roots as a storyteller's medium, concentrating its attention on the small details necessary to disconcert viewers before moving to the next tale. Though its art style and anthology structure will not be to every viewer's taste, Yami Shibai puts a decidedly different and worthwhile spin on horror. Heavenly Host Academy is well named, considering it now plays host to beings trapped in the afterlife. Unfortunately, those beings are murderers and other assorted menaces. More unfortunate, it is upon the site of the demolished academy that another school, Kisaragi, is built, ensuring a terrible time for the students that attend. Corpse Party deserves its name. Bodies pile up like cut logs in this horror anime, often killed in gruesome fashion with the killers taking obvious delight in their misdeeds. This anime is a rough gem of horror cinema, jagged and gleaming. The vampires of Shiki are as persistent a threat as any survival horror anime monster, and though dozens of anime have tackled the subject of vampires, none do so with quite the aplomb and style as Shiki. When murders rock a small town, the finger of blame points at a suspicious clan that has just moved into a nearby castle. Stellar character designs help elevate this tale of monsters that lurk on the edge of society. With a stellar soundtrack and the patience to build its horrors slowly, rather than rushing and diluting them, Shiki spins a disconcerting web around its audience. For its unrelenting creepiness, fantastic lead characters, and solid pacing, Hell Girl ranks amongst the best horror anime. It would be hard to find a more interesting lead than I Enma, a girl on a mission from hell to deliver retribution to wrongdoers. Hell Girl is a fantastic revenge tale, and were that its only saving grace, it would still deserve a watch. Thankfully, Hell Girl has much more in its favor, including a deep exploration of just what deeds deserve punishment and what form that punishment can take and still be considered justice. I is an iconic horror character, Hell Girl the horrific stage where her devilish performance may be savored. Some stories can hardly be discussed without spoiling them, so precisely calibrated are the development of their plots and the nuance of their characterization. Happy Sugar Life is one such story. Based on the manga series written and illustrated by Tamiyaki Kajisora, this genre trope defying anime is a psychological thriller about high schooler Sato Matsuzaka who befriends a young girl named Shio. In less adept hands, its subject matter and plot could easily be mishandled. The hands of these creators are anything but inept, however, and what results is an anime as intriguing as it is disturbing. Happy Sugar Life takes the school anime genre to new depths.
Like Mayuruko Chan, when they cry could be mistaken for a typical, warm and fuzzy shoho at first blush. With a young cast as vibrant as those in any of the best school anime, Higurashi, when they cry can lull viewers into a false sense of security, dropping their guard just in time for the horror to come slashing in. Kiichi moves to the small village of Hinamazawa in time for the annual summer festival, which is troubled by murders every year. The characters may be young, but that in no way excludes them experiencing, or performing, terrible acts. The youth of these characters is a boon to the horror, as viewers can't help but want the best for them, making each calamity all the more impactful. Do you remember anything else, like the suspect's outfit or height? The victim of this violent assault has been identified as Mitsukiko Sagi, the creator of the popular character Moromi. He was sure this or sixth grade maybe. Everything Satoshi Khan touches turns weird, and Paranoia Agent is proof. Surrealist horror, psychological thriller, and fever dream character study collide to spectacular effect in this series about a demented boy on rollerblades who attacks random people with a baseball bat. The series shifts its attention from one character to the next, twisting the distorted lens on each of them like a horrible kaleidoscope. A character designer, a detective, and a university researcher are only some of the oddballs swept up by Lil Slugger and the reign of terror he has brought to Tokyo. Despite its dark premise, there is no shortage of surrealist humor to be found within, and even attempting to understand its weirder levels is at times enough for a laugh. It would be easy to look at another and mistake it for a conventional school anime, focusing on friendships and the daily grind of adolescence. In reality, another is a gruesome horror anime that delights in every goosebump it gives its viewers. Kuichi's transfer to Yamayama Middle School, his meeting with the enigmatic and sinister Mei, and the horrific deaths surrounding the school ally supply maximum creep factor. Another takes its scares where it can get them, whether through jolting violence and splashes of blood or the encroaching menace of music that can only mean ill tidings for the students of Yamayama. Highly successful at the box office and a cultural phenomenon in its own right, Death Note is as tightly paced and brilliantly scripted as the manga upon which it is based. High schooler Light Yagami finds himself in possession of a journal in which he can write any person's name and have them die. This discovery instigates a rash of vigilante murders, as Light takes it upon himself to rid the world of criminals. When the strange young detective L takes up the case, determined to stop the unknown perpetrator, the plot ratchets everything up. One of the greatest detective stories and thrillers in all of anime, Death Note is a beautiful meeting of man and monster. Well that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video on anime similar to Maruko-chan. I know I did, I have a lot of binge watching ahead of me. And I'm sure you do too. I'm sure your list just expanded out, or who knows maybe you're all caught up. And when you complete all of the anime, mentioned on the list. But anyways, if you think that we missed anything on this list then be sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video if you like it, and subscribe to the channel for more anime content like this, anyways I'll catch you later see you in the next one.